every day in Africa, in the safari, a lion wakes up. Every single day in a safari, a lion wakes up, right? And, and every single day in a safari, a gazelle wakes up. It says that if you wake up and you're a gazelle, you realize if you're going to survive as a gazelle, if you're going to survive, you must outrun the slowest gazelle. In your mind, you're thinking you got to outrun the fastest line. That's not the truth. You just got to stay ahead of the slow gazelle. That's it. But every single day when you wake up, whatever it is that you do professionally, you better make sure you're not in the back of the pack. You better be as close to the front, if not up front, as possible because every single day when the lion wakes up, it's only one thing on that lion's mind and that is catching the gazelle that couldn't keep up. What the gazelle realizes is that the way it operates, that the way it performs, that the way it goes about its daily business is contingent upon life and death. That if that gazelle does not do what he or she is supposed to do, it will be eaten by a lion. Even if you are a lion, even if you are a lion and you have the advantage that when the sun comes up, if you are a gazelle or a lion, you better get to run it. Because if you are a lion, a gazelle is still not going to come to you and say, just eat me. I don't care how deep you are as a lion. When you wake up, nothing is going to come to you. Nobody's going to give you anything. They're still not giving stuff to E.T. I still have to work. I still have to fly 20 hours to get to Australia. I still have to go to London. I still have to do free stuff in Detroit. I still have to drive. I'm a lion. And when the sun comes up, I still have to get to running. Here's the challenge though. I asked myself when I read that story, that's what's on the surface. I read it and I started asking myself, E.T., what's the difference between a gazelle and what's the difference between a lion? What's the difference? I know that they're wired differently, but what's the difference? And what I discovered is that the gazelle is running from something. The gazelle is running from something. So as long as the lion is chasing the gazelle, the gazelle is running. But as soon as the lion stops chasing the gazelle, it stops. That's a lot of you in this room. You will run, you'll do what you're supposed to do. As long as you're getting pushed, as long as you're getting motivated, as long as somebody is encouraging you, as long as somebody's coaching you, as long as somebody's pushing you, as long as somebody's prodding you, you're doing what you're supposed to do. As long as somebody's calling you, as long as someone is enticing you, as long as somebody's giving you rewards, you're moving. But as soon as that stops, you stop. I asked myself the question about the lion, and I said the lion is not running to be rewarded. The lion is running to eat. Every single day, the lion is running to eat because the lion realizes when he kills the gazelle, not only does he eat the gazelle, but he brings it back home. You've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it.